Hi there, everybody. This is Lasora, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the VHS look to any of your video footages using Final Cut Pro 10. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So now that we're in Final Cut Pro 10 program, click New Project and name your project to VHS Effect. Select the video format to NTSC SD and then select your frame rate to 29.97p and then hit OK and then drag and drop your footage to your timeline. Once you've done with that, you're going to go ahead and scale your project so that it fits the frame. Bring up the effect browser and then go to the search bar then type in add noise. Select that and then drop it to your footage. Go to the blend mode and then select color dodge. Select a type 2 Gaussian noise film grain. Set the amount to roughly around 0.23 to around 0.32. Once you've done with that, go back to the search bar and type in Gaussian Blur. Select that and then drop it to your footage. Set the amount to roughly around 2 or 3. I'll set that to 2 for now. Go back to the search bar and then type in Sharpen. Select the Sharpen tool and drop it to your footage. Set the amount to around 8 or 9. I'll set mine to 8 for now. Go back to the search bar and then type in Bat TV effect. Select that and then drop it to your footage. Set the amount to roughly around 8 or 9 as well. We're going to keep the static type to Gaussian noise film grain again and select the static blend mode to soft light. Go back to the search bar and then type in prism. This will add some 3D effect to your footage. Set the amount to around 13 or 14. I'll set mine to 13. Go back to the search bar and then type in color correction. But before we do some color correction, let's first set the exposure. Go ahead and boost the highlights as well as the midtones. And then drop your shadow down. Once you've done with that, go to the saturation and just drop its overall. Go to the color. I tend to like my footage to have some red, orange and purple tint to it. Boost the highlights to somewhere around there. That is looking good. Also the mid-tone, you can boost that up a little as well. And I'll set my shadows around here. Okay, and now we wait for it to render. So now that it's finished rendering, let's see what the result looks like. So that's it for today's tutorial guys, I hope you find this somewhat useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them down in the comment section below, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Good luck with your project and I'll see you in the next video, bye bye!